Welcome back to Stellar Eureka, where we uncover the world's most fascinating and overlooked wonders. Humans have relied on fruits for thousands of years, not just for their sweet, portable energy, but also for the incredible distances they've traveled to reach our tables. We've explored countless fruits in past episodes, but have you ever wondered where your favorite fruits actually come from? You might be surprised at just how far your breakfast banana or summertime watermelon traveled before reaching your local store. Ready for a bite of knowledge? Let's dig in. Ever bite into a crisp, familiar apple and wonder where it all began? Surprisingly, this iconic fruit got its start in the mountainous regions of Central Asia, near where modern-day China, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan meet. Its wild ancestor, Malus siversii, can still be found thriving there, and to this day, China remains the world's top producer, supplying nearly half of all apples grown. For those of us in the US, that could mean some apples travel up to three weeks by sea and land before reaching our supermarkets. It's humbling to realize that something so commonplace had to traverse oceans and cultures to become a global staple. But if you find the apple story surprising, Wait until you hear about a small, golden stone fruit whose heritage stretches back even further. The apricot has a name hinting at its ancient ties. Prunus armeniaca, reflecting its legendary association with Armenia. Yet some believe it might have originated in India or China. Wherever it began, it journeyed along the Silk Road for millennia, sweetening cuisines from Uzbekistan to Europe. Today, apricots enchant us with a velvety texture and gentle flavor, bridging different worlds in every luscious bite. From a gentle stone fruit, we peel back layers of history to uncover a green treasure that once thrived in Mesoamerica. Creamy, buttery, and beloved in everything from guacamole to sushi, the avocado traces its roots back to south-central Mexico's Tehuacan Valley. Local communities there have been savoring avocados for up to 10,000 years. Nowadays, Mexico leads the world in avocado production, shipping these alligator pears far and wide, each bite a nod to an ancient lineage still fueling modern appetites. We trade the buttery smoothness of avocados for a fruit that's technically a berry, though we seldom think of it that way. Yes, you heard that right. Bananas are botanically berries. Their journey began in Indomalaya, with evidence of domestication in New Guinea around 10,000 years ago. Since then, bananas have spread across the tropics, with India topping global production. Whether fried, blended, or peeled and eaten raw, this bright yellow staple is among the world's most consumed fruits, even though it started halfway across the planet. From sun-soaked tropics, we jump to the cooler regions of North America for a tiny yet mighty berry. Though many berries thrive worldwide, the blueberry is truly at home in North America, especially in the northern United States and parts of Canada. Early indigenous tribes cultivated and cherished these sweet, antioxidant-rich gems. Today, the U.S. remains a top producer ensuring blueberry pies and pancakes grace breakfast tables everywhere. Sometimes the simplest fruits are those closest to home. Next, let's discover a melon with uncertain origins, but global acclaim. Believed or not, these melons are named after Cantalupo di Sabina in Italy. Cantaloupes may actually come from Persia, Afghanistan, or Armenia. The details remain fuzzy. What's certain is that China dominates modern production supplying over half the world's cantaloupes. With sweet orange flesh wrapped in a rough netted rind, they add a refreshing bite to salads and summer picnics worldwide. Now, picture a bright, juicy fruit that's become synonymous with desserts and festivity, yet has roots in both Europe and the Middle East. Beloved for their sweet, tart flavor and deep red hue, cherries grew wild across Central Europe and Italy while their name hails from the ancient Greek region Kyrgyzus in modern Turkey, where sweet cherries first entered Europe. Today, Turkey remains the world leader in sweet cherry production. Whether in pies, preserves, or simply enjoyed fresh, cherries trace back to an old story of trade and travel. We head back to a more recent discovery, born from a chance encounter in an Algerian garden. The clementine emerged in the late 1800s when a sweet orange and mandarin 
crossed paths in Misurgen, Algeria. Named for Father Clement Rodier, who witnessed this natural hybrid, clementines became famous for their easy-to-peel skin, sweet flavor, and seedless segments. Thanks to global trade, they deliver a dash of sunshine to wintry grocery aisles worldwide. If clementines conquered continents through trade, our next fruit sailed the seas, literally carrying its tough shell across the world's oceans. Few fruits evoke tropical bliss like the coconut, which actually has two separate domestication points, the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. Able to float on water and sprout wherever they wash ashore, coconuts have landed on countless coastlines. Indonesia currently leads production, reflecting the coconut's enduring role in cuisines and cultures, from refreshing water to versatile oil. Trade the beach for the bog as we uncover a tart berry beloved by indigenous communities in North America. Associated with festive holiday meals, cranberries grow naturally in northeastern North America. Tribes like the Narragansett valued them for both dyes and food, and European settlers added them to pilgrim cookbooks by the 1660s. Today, states like Wisconsin and Massachusetts boast bright red cranberry bogs, and this tart berry remains an iconic part of the American harvest season. These bog-grown gems may symbolize autumn feasts, but the next fruit takes us into the ancient sands of Mesopotamia, where it fueled empires and caravans alike. Arguably one of the oldest cultivated fruits, dates have nourished civilizations in Mesopotamia and Egypt for thousands of years. They thrive in hot, arid climates with archaeological remains dating to 7000 BCE. Today, Egypt leads global production, preserving the date's legacy as both a staple crop and a dessert-like treat enjoyed worldwide. Where dates evoke endless dunes, our next fruit thrives in lush valleys. Some say it's the very first crop humans ever domesticated. There's evidence that figs were cultivated 11,000 years ago in the Jordan Valley, possibly predating even wheat. Revered in the ancient Mediterranean for their honeyed flavor and symbolic importance, figs journeyed through trade routes into new lands. Turkey now tops their production, preserving a fruit that helped spark humanity's early forays into organized agriculture. While figs shaped ancient diets, our next fruit emerged from the Caribbean in a chance crossing that forever changed brunch tables. Born from a Jamaican sweet orange and Indonesia pomelo, the grapefruit was discovered in Barbados, once known by the curious name Shattuck. Its pinkish flesh offers a bittersweet tang, delighting and dividing breakfast eaters worldwide. Though often linked to tropical beaches, it's China that dominates production today. A reminder that modern markets rarely follow neat geographic lines. From a random hybrid that brightens our mornings, we move to a fruit that shaped entire wine cultures and possibly led to domesticated yeast. The genus Vitus may have altered human history by driving the invention of wine in the Middle East, Georgia, and Armenia some 10,000 years ago. Whether green, red, or purple, grapes have inspired trade, cultivation, and fermentation across every continent except Antarctica. While China grows the most for table use, Spain stands out for wine acreage, proof that each cluster carries an ancient lineage of celebration. We've seen how grapes can transform into wine, but let's spotlight a lesser-known tropical pick overshadowed by orchard celebrities. Native to southern Mexico and Central America, guavas offer sweet tart pulp and an unmistakable aroma. Historically, they enriched Latin American cuisines in juices and desserts. Although they remain underappreciated globally, India now leads production, proving that this fragrant fruit can flourish and surprise us wherever it's grown. From tropical sweetness, we explore a melon that's unfairly pegged as bland, yet can be exquisite when fully ripe. While many call it bland, honeydew actually thrives in northern Africa, specifically Algeria. When allowed to ripen fully, its green flesh becomes exceptionally sweet, contradicting its reputation as a filler fruit in lackluster salads. But guess who comes out on top in honeydew production? China once again. Perhaps next time you see honeydew at the store, you'll give it another chance. We move now to a fuzzy fruit associated with New Zealand, 
though its true birthplace lies far from the Pacific Island. Yes, the kiwi fruit is native to China's Yangtze River Valley, not New Zealand. Brought to kiwi country in the early 20th century, the fruit was rebranded for export and global consumption. Despite its strong association with New Zealand, China remains the largest producer. No matter where it's grown, the kiwi's sweet tart flavor and bright green interior make it a sunny addition to fruit salads worldwide. Next, a citrus fruit so bite-sized that you often eat it whole, peel and all. From Southeast Asia, kumquats are mini oranges brimming with bold citrus flavor. The name stems from Cantonese, meaning golden orange, and they're often used in jams or preserves, peel and all. Once again, China dominates production, but you'll find these sweet and sour delights in markets wherever adventurous palates roam. Now, let's zest things up with a fruit perfect for lemonade or countless tangy recipes around the globe. Believed to have emerged in eastern India, lemons descend from a cross between bitter orange and citron. They traveled along ancient trade routes, eventually earning a permanent spot in kitchens worldwide. India remains a top producer, while lemons themselves continue to brighten dishes, ward off scurvy, and prove that one small fruit can pack an incredible punch. One tangy citrus calls for another, except in this case, the lines of lineage get a little confusing. Rooted in Southeast Asia, lime can refer to several hybrids, including the beloved key lime and the widely used Persian lime. Each variety has distinct flavors and uses, from tangy marinades to refreshing drinks. Mexico is historically linked to key limes, but India and China lead broader lime production. Regardless of the origin, these green gems remain a staple in global cuisines, bridging continents one zesty squeeze at a time. Let's escape the citrus orchard and indulge in a fruit-crowned king across large parts of Asia. Welcome to the world of mangoes, believed to have originated in South Southeast Asia, particularly India and Myanmar. Highly revered for over 4,000 years, mangoes boast a rich, sweet flavor, making them key in desserts, smoothies, or simply eaten fresh. India dominates production, fueling global love for this bright, juicy staple known as the king of fruits. We switch from sweet to savory, stepping into Mediterranean sunshine for a fruit that fueled empires and shaped entire cultures. Olives arrive from the Mediterranean, with heritage spanning Greece, Italy, and beyond. Cultivated for at least five millennia, they provided both vital nourishment and valuable oil. Today, Spain leads in olive production, but each region contributes its own flavors. Mild, briny, or herb-infused, in many ways, olives define the taste of coastal Europe and the Middle East. Leaving Europe's ancient groves, we land in the lush forests of South America, where a fruit known for its passion awaits. Originating in southern Brazil, Paraguay, and northern Argentina, the passion fruit captivates with its aromatic, tangy pulp. Interestingly, missionaries saw religious symbolism in its intricate flowers, inspiring the name passion fruit. Whether purple or yellow, its bright flavor enchants tropical regions worldwide. Brazil remains a key producer, though many love its juice and desserts across the globe. Now, a fuzzy stone fruit conjures images of orchard trees on warm summer afternoons. Peaches trace back to northwest China, near the Tarim Basin, despite strong ties to Persia and Europe. Nicknamed Persian apples by Greeks and Romans, they spread along the Silk Road and have thrived in many climates ever since. China remains the leader in peach production, fueling global summers with sweet, juicy varieties that instantly evoke sunlit orchards. Another orchard resident shares a similar story, also born in China, yet sometimes overshadowed by its fuzzy cousin. Pears sprouted in western China, near the Tian Shan Mountains. Today, varieties range from crisp Asian pears to softer European types, featured in everything from dessert to pear cider. Unsurprisingly, China also dominates pear production. Where peaches bring lush sweetness, pears offer a more delicate floral note, equally cherished around the world. We now head south for a tropical treat that once stirred explorers' imaginations with its sweet juices and spiky exterior. 
The pineapple originated in southern Brazil and Paraguay, eventually spreading across South America and into the Caribbean. Closely linked with tropical imagery, pineapples thrive in places like Costa Rica, which exports a huge portion of the world's supply. Their sweet, tart taste and prickly exterior embody a symbol of hospitality that first impressions don't always reveal. Moving from a prickly welcome to another sweet treat that thrives in Eastern Europe and the Caucasus. Plums likely hail from Eastern Europe and the Caucasus, domesticated over 2,000 years ago. Juicy and rich, plums were traditionally preserved or dried as prunes for winter. Though China now dominates the market, varieties like the European Damson or the Japanese Satsuma remain favorites among fruit enthusiasts worldwide. In ancient Persia, our next fruit garnered reverence in art, mythology, and cuisine. Rooted in Iran, pomegranates have symbolized fertility and abundance across civilizations. Behind their tough shell lie jewel-like arrows bursting with sweet tart flavor. Iran remains a leading producer, sharing this legendary fruit with modern tables, whether in juices, salads, or sweet syrups. While pomegranates once captivated ancient empires, our next berry found its place in colonial feasts and continues to dazzle modern palates. Though raspberries flourish in Europe and North America, their likely origin lies in Turkey's rich biodiversity. Today, Russia ranks among the top producers, but many countries cherish the berry's tart, sweet taste and delicate texture, making them prized in desserts or just eaten fresh. If raspberries already sounded like a treat, our next fruit soared across the Atlantic and found new life in an 18th century horticultural breakthrough, forever changing the shortcake game. The modern strawberry is a relatively new creation, a hybrid of a North American species, Fragaria virginiana, and a Chilean species, Fragaria chiloensis, first crossed in Brittany, France around 1950s. Over time, the U.S. became the world's biggest strawberry producer, though greenhouses worldwide now ensure year-round availability. Every sweet bite is a reminder of how old and new world genetics can unite. Now we examine a fruit that sparks debates over whether it's truly a veggie or a berry. Either way, it has shaped cuisines across the globe. Yes, tomatoes are technically fruits, berry-like, and hail from the Andes Mountains in South America. Despite their iconic ties to Italian cooking, they likely reached Europe via Spanish explorers in the early 1500s. Today, China grows most tomatoes overall, but Italy remains synonymous with tomato-rich sauces and pizzas. Each juicy bite represents how the new world profoundly influenced the old. Finally, we end with a vibrant treat, red on the inside, green on the outside, thriving in hot fields and desert borders, quenching thirst for millennia. Born in East Africa, near modern-day Ethiopia, watermelons were cultivated by ancient Egyptians around 5,000 years ago, spreading along Mediterranean trade routes. Modern watermelons can diverge from their wild ancestors, but they still deliver a sweet, hydrating taste of summer. Unsurprisingly, China now accounts for most of the world's watermelon production, proving once again that distance is no barrier to global appetites. From apples in Central Asia to watermelons born in Africa, our fruit bowl truly is a global tapestry of flavors and histories. Which of these origins surprised you the most? Have you tasted a fruit you never imagined came from halfway around the world? Let us know in the comments. If this journey through the geography of fruits sparked your curiosity, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with fellow explorers. There's always another hidden wonder waiting to be rediscovered so keep your sense of adventure growing wherever nature takes us next. This is Stella Eureka, signing off.